So this video is to go over a way I was able to remote control a waterfall pump. My wife had asked me to come up with a way so that she could control it from her phone. And so I did some homework, found some devices out there and a pretty inexpensive solution. So I, hopefully this helps uh, you if you're wanting to do a similar type of thing. The pump I'm using is a Pentair IntelliFlow. This one is pretty old, probably pre-2010. So I'm sure there's newer versions out there. And this really isn't limited to this type of pump. Pretty much any pump that communicates to the controller that I bought will work. You just have to make sure that the communications link is compatible. The electronics I was able to house in this gray box next to the pump that was actually pretty convenient because it's a waterproof box that prevented um, the elements from damaging any of the electronics inside. So this is the Pentair IntelliFlow. On the side, there's a small communications port. So I had to buy a Pentair communications cable, uh, part number shown there. It's about $25 on eBay, not too expensive. It's quite long. So if you have to run... A good distance it, it easily can handle it um, since it's an RS422 interface the distance doesn't really play into the reliability of the communications it's, it's a pretty robust interface differential uh, pretty noise immune the controller itself is kind of the heart of the system this I found a company on eBay that sells a controller that communicates to the IntelliFlow the cool part about this is that they do all the hard work and all you have to do is, uh, inter is basically close contacts on these S1 through S4 interfaces to the common pin and it will automatically send commands to the pump. So I thought that was pretty clever. Anyways, this is $75. Uh, hopefully it's available at the time you're watching this. But uh, yeah, check it out. So... The way I turn on the pump is I actually use a smart plug. So, of course, these are very inexpensive, available on Amazon. Uh, the cool part about these is that it comes with uh, downloadable software uh, through the app where you can um, create an account and link your devices so that it's tied to your Wi-Fi system. The other cool part is if you're not even home, this will actually work remotely. So, it you know, through your through your app it'll actually go you know all the way to the home base and send the commands over the internet and basically send this through your wi-fi system to tell this device to turn on and off so I, I really like that feature it also allows you to schedule the pump to turn on and off based on time um sunrise sunset that kind of stuff so it's, it offers a pretty powerful way to schedule and manually turn on uh, the pump when needed. So I needed a relay closure device. I found these on Amazon, very inexpensive. Um, what you basically do is uh, provide 12 volts to it, and then you provide a, a signal that basically is another 12 volts that turns on and off to, to close the relay contacts, which then tells the controller to turn the pump on. The 12 volt adapters, I just got a bunch of them on Amazon. Again, those are fairly inexpensive, about three bucks a piece. Uh, tying the whole system together, we have the IoT device, the smart outlet on the bottom left, which basically is the trigger to the relay board. Um, the relay board also needs power, so you have a constant 12 volts coming in. And then the relay closure goes to the control module, the upstream's control module. That also requires 12 volts, so I just share the power with the uh, relay board. Um, that then sends the commands out to the pump. So it's a fairly simple setup. Uh, what I would recommend is just bench topping this prior to installing it, just to make sure everything works okay. And then once you're confident you have a good setup, then you can you know drop it wherever you need to. So in the end, this is where I actually shoved all the electronics. There was enough room in there to to put some stuff. Um, nice part is, is that now you have full control through your phone. So it, it makes it really simple. Anyways, hope this helps. It was inexpensive and it provided me a great utility. 
uh, to being able to schedule and manually control the on and off of this pump.